Okay, here's the situation. Dave was changing the power pack on the motor and he had the earmuffs on the motor, you know, so he could run it. Check to make sure everything was okay. Let me show you what's going on here. If I can. So, the earmuffs fell off the bottom of the engine. He didn't realize it because he couldn't hear it over the noise of the engine. And he burnt out our, our, our motors completely toast. Completely toast. That's We haven't been out on the water at all. My husband's been so stressed out about this because, I mean, it's completely blown. So either he has to rebuild it and he's not a marine mechanic, so we'll have to learn how to rebuild it. Or we need to buy a new engine. So we love the boat itself. It's kind of a classic looking boat and we like how it sits in the water and the way it runs. So we don't want to get a new boat. But yeah. Our engine's blown, and it's so funny because my parents' boat just sunk, as you saw in my last video, and then this happened a week after my parents' boat sunk. <sighs> this is going to be an expensive boo-boo, to say the least. So we'll be shore fishing for the rest of the summer, unfortunately. Even our backup boat sunk. It's been a weird rough summer but what can you do dump up the whole area in front of us right straight up from the right straight across the battlefield the battlefield <laughs> uh, sweet corn cream corn and that'll stink the water up now we're getting ready to line our hooks in all right. We were gonna bring Coda, but we figured he'd be miserable. Well, it is like super humid. Yeah. Stanking up the water. That's a very large pole you have. This is an old, old pole. This is really old timer pole here. That you're gonna catch carp with that? And then we got Kaylin over here with her Walmart spectacular pole. She'll catch all the fish today. I'm calling it right now. That's what she does. Yeah, she's catching all the fish.
gonna cast the line in the weedy shallow water. Don't catch a kayaker. Trace today, on, which is right on Lake Erie. It's a beautiful day. Dave's gonna do some fishing right here, even though it's weedy. We've seen quite a few fish jumping, so we'll see. fishing pier trying to find a good spot to fish but water's deep here but it's moving really fast you can't tell by moving really fast it's beautiful though the mighty Huron River this is where Huron Indian tribes settled in this whole metro park area. Long, long time ago. It's a gorgeous area. It's no wonder they did. First, Dave walks off to fish down the way from me and catches a fish. Well, I'm not there because that's how this works in, on this channel. <laughs> but yeah, yep, that's, how it goes. that's how it goes. Just one of those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He's a fish. They found a honey hole for fishing. So beautiful. here the metro park and I'm about to go for a walk here's the main trail it's so pretty through here here's the main trail I I'm gonna go on the rustic trail this trail I don't know it looks like it leads to a picnic table looks cool oh there's a little bridge back there that's cool but I'm gonna go this way because it looks like a longer path. Man, it's gorgeous out today. The sun is shining, y'all. <sighs> really sinks that the boat's broken, but I guess it's giving us time to do other things. Like we never go to this metro park and we live right near it. So since it's been broken, the boat's been broken. We wouldn't have enough find alternative recreation and this is just gorgeous. So beautiful. Look at this old tree up here. If you can see it. That tree is just massive. Beautiful. Beautiful. God is a glorious artist. I have come to another offshoot. I think I'm going to investigate. I don't know how bad the bugs are going to be. I put some, uh, oh, beautiful little tree. Put some bug spray on before coming out here, but you never know when these high grasses. bugs start kicking up. Oh yeah, mosquito on my hand. Yep. Oh, there's a little. Oh yeah, mosquitoes are killer. Ah, skeeter. Sorry. I'm jerking everywhere because uh, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, beautiful. So beautiful. Michigan is has amazing wildflowers. Some offshoot creek. Man, the skeeters are just tearing me up. Look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Sorry, jerking again. Because the mosquitoes are tearing me apart. Look at that beautiful singular yellow flower. Absolutely gorgeous. I know I've been saying that all video. Absolutely gorgeous, but it is. What can I say? I am at a crossroads. That lovely way. That mm, semi lovely way. I think I'm going to take this way. It heads back to the way I want to go. Isn't this just gorgeous? I mean, come on now. Just be 
beautiful. My husband had fishing on his mind, so I'm going it alone. That's okay, it's enjoyable. Well, I just came up on another little bridge over this beautiful creek again. I don't think this is a here River, I think this is branches off. Man, these mosquitoes are like crazy. So beautiful. my husband. I see my chair and I swear a mosquito just went up my nose. Some more beautiful flowers. Oh, the camera doesn't do it justice. It really doesn't. I guess I got too close. <laughs> that was a close one. All right. Here I am, back on the main path. There's Dave way over there. Fishing. Put the place up.